My name is Teresa Norby and I'm a solicitor in the Medical Negligence Department in Cowan Tansy Solicitors in Sligo. Today is World Day of Social Justice and I'm just coming on to talk briefly in relation to my personal experience with the Access Programme that is run by the Law Society of Ireland and how it's helped me get to this point in my career. There was a time when I thought I would never get to this point. I remember back in 2011, I had just finished my postgrad um, the LLB in NUI Galway and all my college friends were talking about going off and doing FE1s, going to Black Hall, getting traineeships in Dublin and going on to be a solicitor and they were talking about the fees and what it costs and I just felt like it wasn't something that I would be able to do. In 2009 my mother had passed away so my family was down to one income and in 2011 during my postgrad I became pregnant so I had a young daughter to take care of and I thought being up in Donegal I was never going to be able to go down to Dublin to get a traineeship. So I went on to the Law Society website and it had all the information there on it. Um, I found out that it would help me pay for the FE ones and also give me some travel expenses and give you some money for lunch for going up to Dublin to do them on the day. Um, it would help you secure a traineeship. It would help pay for your fees for Black Hall and provide you with some maintenance while you were there. So I thought, geez, you know, maybe this is something that I can do. Maybe this will be something that will help me. Take consideration the area that you're from, whether it's considered a disadvantaged area. They take into consideration your extended family and how many of your family have managed to go to college or maybe third level education. And so in, in my circumstances, there was very few of my extended family that would have gone on. And I suppose it's to draw away from this idea of legal families and that, you know, their your father was a solicitor and their grandfather was a solicitor and to break away from that stereotype of what a solicitor could be. And um, so I got, I was successful in getting the, um, the Access Programme Scholarship and it, it really did help me so much. Um, as I say, the money for the FE1s and um, securing a traineeship. I was actually lucky enough to secure one in Donegal. Um, but again, the full effects of the recession were still being felt. You know, firms couldn't, small firms like that couldn't afford to pay the fees for Black Hall. So the Access Programme helped me with that. Going down to Black Hall, I was very lucky to have a support network that would look after my daughter for the six months. But while I was down there, I was getting some maintenance funding, which has helped me to pay rent and, and all the rest. So it really helped me get to this point in my career, and I couldn't recommend it enough. Um, it can feel often that you know we have an idea in our heads of who's able to become a solicitor and what type of person but the law society really are coming on leaps and bounds to try and get rid of that stereotype anybody can become a solicitor from anywhere and sometimes you just need a little help so if anyone feels that they do i would absolutely encourage them to look into the access program and also not to be discouraged if you don't get it because there are other ways So if you're willing to put in the hard work, um, you will make it. Just keep at it and um, get on to the Lost Society. They want to help you. They want you to be successful in your career. So get on to them and they will give you more information on it.